What you are about to hear is highly classified. Hey gang, Brant Fowler back. Welcome to The Zone. I am here with another Marvel Now number one issue review. This time with Deadpool number one, which also came out November 7th of 2012. And uh, those that know me know that I'm kind of a middle of the road Deadpool fan. Oh, maybe a little bit over to the uh, light column a little bit. Um, you know, I'm a fan of, of the character when he's done well. Uh, when he's not, uh, not so much. I could take or leave. Um, so when they were going to relaunch Deadpool with Brian Posen and, and Jerry uh, Duggan, is it Duggan or Duggan? I think it's Duggan. Um, taking up the, the uh, writing chores, it was definitely intriguing. I mean, you got a, a comedian writing Deadpool. How perfect is that, right? So, uh, and, and you know, I was a fan of a lot of the Daniel Way stuff, and I was a fan of the classic stuff. Um, so I was looking forward to this one. And uh, I, I'll save my score for the end, just so that I'm not changing the score throughout the review. But um, I, I like the issue. Uh, it wasn't as perfect and as great as some of my friends have said that it was. Uh, but it was really good. Uh, there was a lot of great moments in it. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't that home run out of the park for me personally. But hey each their own. Uh, so the basic premise of, of this particular Deadpool story is Deadpool is commissioned by S.H.I.E.L.D. to take out these dead presidents that uh, were brought back by a necromancer. And um, the issue kind of opens up with um, um, Captain America starts trying to stop this necromancer from bringing the dead presidents back, but they come back anyway and then the necromancer disappears and shield throws a fit because they can't have captain america fighting dead presidents and decapitating them and everything of course it's tony moore on art here so you know there's decapitations and all kinds of gore and uh so they're looking for uh, somebody else to take up the job enter deadpool who is in the midst of this big battle downtown with this giant creature and uh he's in a team up with Thor, but uh, Thor refuses to acknowledge it's a marvelous team up as Deadpool puts it, and uh, but Deadpool keeps calling him partner and, and so on and so forth, so that was a good exchange between the two, and then uh, hopefully I'll get the preview pages to work right this time, but uh, you get to see um, Deadpool with his mask off, and you see him a lot with his mask off in this issue, which is not something that we're used to seeing a whole lot of. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, so, you know, the, the cop is trying to say, you know, let's, let's, uh, get some medical attention for you, and he explains, in, in a very, very cool way, he explains his origin, more or less, in, like, a panel. And so you don't have to revisit any of that anymore, you know what Deadpool's all about, just from this one page, uh, you know, what kind of character he is and everything, so if somebody's being introduced to Deadpool for the first time, they get him right off the bat, so that was really well done. Um, I do appreciate that. And, of course, he's got this, you know, cancer keeps healing itself, so that's why he's all gross and everything, but we get to see the, the holes in his skin and all that stuff. It's, it's, there's a lot of grody stuff in here, but it, it's done in a cartoony way, because the colors are really vibrant and uh, everything, so. Anyway, so Deadpool uh, ends up killing one of these presidents because it's it's uh, FDR and he's in this battle with uh, with FDR and uh, is is it FDR? I think it's FDR because Truman was the first one that came back. Yeah, it's FDR. So he's fighting him and he's you know FDR's in a wheelchair and everything and uh, and Deadpool says um, uh, he first he makes some really bad puns which uh, I expect a little bit more from a comedian uh, you know. The, they weren't as witty as I hoped, and they were just really kind of cheesy one-liners. Uh, you know, Deadpool does do a lot of cheesy one-liners, but they're usually cool and interesting and unique cheesy one-liners, and these were your typical one-liners that anybody with a sense of humor would make. So, you know, that wasn't the whole issue, but there were a few of those thrown in, and I didn't like those particular zingers. But, um, so, uh, <laughs> Deadpool 
guns down Mr. President and says, just so everyone knows, uh, the Cooper guy started it. You know, uh, that's all I'm saying. You know. But anyway, the battle's not over, and he keeps going, and finally he disposes of them, and S.H.I.E.L.D. comes on the scene, and they're like, you know, how would you like a job? And Deadpool, Deadpool's like, well, thanks for for <laughs> trusting me to take care of the country that I that I provide the most damage for. And uh, they said, no, you're 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 not the hero that we want. You're just the you know the the loser we need <laughs> to uh, because they can't like that. Like I said, they can't have Captain America doing this. So they're gonna pick this guy that nobody really cares about. That's you know half uh half mentally gone and uh it's odd that he's even a hero uh, <laughs> and they're gonna take him to dispose of these presents nobody's gonna nobody's gonna think of any, anything of that so he's off on his quest and uh he encounters a whole room with these presidents and it, it there's some funny stuff in there there's all these dead presidents and then jimmy carter in the middle of it and he's like I'm, but i'm not dead and i'm like you're dead when we say you're dead which you know, that was funny and then lincoln Lincoln shows up. You know, Deadpool's in the middle of this diatribe, and, and Lincoln, <laughs> in in the in the stands, Lincoln shoots him in the head from behind, and he says, "I always wanted to do that." And, you know, so there was some funny stuff in this in this issue, um, and so you know that kind of kicks off the story. So from here on out, I guess he's going to be taking out presidents uh, at least for this first arc, and uh, so it was fun. The Tony Moore art is you know gruesomely cool and still not so overdone that you're like ooh I don't want to look at this so you know that was good uh, the writing like I said it was hit and miss for me more hit than miss so uh, that's why I had fun with this issue uh, there was just a few little misses here and there so I, I certainly cannot give this a perfect score simply for that alone um, and uh you know, it was an enjoyable issue. It was fun. If you if you're a fan of Deadpool, you'll you'll get a kick out of it. Um, if you're a rabbit fan of Deadpool, you'll love it because you know I have some friends that are big, huge Deadpool fans, and they love Deadpool no matter no matter what. And that's fine. To each their own, like I said. Uh, for me, it was it was good, but it wasn't great. You know, I was I was told it was great. It was absolutely the best. And uh, no, no. It wasn't. I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Uh, that's my final score. It's not going to change. <laughs> I promise. So uh, that's that's my uh, that's my review um, of Brian Posen and Jerry Duggan and uh, Tony Moore's Deadpool number 1 from Marvel Now. Come back next time when I talk about another Marvel Now number 1 issue. And thanks for watching. This has been a Gonzo Goose production. Bonk!